hello there dear youtube friends in this video i'll be teaching guys on how to send data from a repeating group to another page so let's get started okay this is a simple uh, empty project that i've just created in bubble and as you can see here i'm going to use a simple data called uh, jobs here so in this jobs uh, database i'm going to have some the, the title of the job which is here and we're going to move it here Okay, there you go. It's gonna move the title here. So this is gonna be the first data of this jobs database, which is software developer here. And I'm just gonna make a repeating group here. Just gonna grab this element here, just paste it here, and of course gonna make it a bit bigger than usual. And just gonna do all that. And next up, I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna grab a. My, okay, yeah, I have to set up what what are we searching for? This is type of content is jobs, of course. Data source is going to be do a search for jobs and close it. Okay, and next up, you can actually take an element called uh, text here and open it up. What does it say? It says, uh, Yeah, edit me. You can actually just make it smaller and put it get inside this repeating group so that it actually repeats for every single time. So you must be inside the box here. And what I can what I can do here is that I can actually make data dynamic, which is for example current sales jobs and title. And this is the first uh, content. The next content I would like to choose is actually the jobs uh, salary, by the way. So it's going to be jobs title and jobs salary. So let's go to click on preview here. And as you can see here, I have software developer and the salary is 5000. Uh, let's see if I were to just add another new uh, entry uh, where I just put uh, yeah, designer instead. Designer, the salary is going to be 10. Oops, 10k. Yep, 10k, then create. And we have two jobs here as well as here. So we have two jobs. Okay, this is a simple uh, repeating group that we can we can all make by ourselves. So next part I'm going to make is how do how do we able to send data from this particular uh, any of this and then it goes to the next this like a page for a specific detail of this software developer or this job. Let's say I'm going to put a button here. So the button actually repeats for every single uh, table. Here. So this data I'm just going to put. Uh, um, let's say if I were to go to next page, I would say apply here. Yeah. Let's say if I would apply, I really want to apply for this job. If I were to apply for the job, the next page should be a page where, uh, which has the jobs description here. Yep. Okay, job description, description, and this created this, this so that you can have it. Here. And let's have like a simple text here which says a job title. Okay, and also before that, let me just uh, go through what's going to happen here. So let me just refresh this page. So you see, this is a job here, a job A, the first job here. And then if I'm going to click on this particular uh, page, uh, repeating group, the content here, then when I please click on apply, I would like to send the data to another page, which is job description here. So if I were to send the data, so how will I be able to send the data? So all I have to do is to send it in the URL. So I'm just going to go to this uh, repeating group page again. If I were to click on apply, right? So let's say I'm just going to put click on here. I would like to navigate to a page first. For example, I would like to go for what page is that? Yeah, job description page. And also I would like to send current page parameters yep example uh, sorry not this send more parameters to the page okay this is where it's going to be it's a bit more interesting because we're going to add the data in the link in the URL sorry so let's say I'm just going to put the key that I would like to send is just a simple uh, key I mean it's just for example Q or any 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 one example Q1 Q1 is basically like a query. Line. This, this, is, this is nothing. This is just simple. I'm just going to put something like that. So this is this is where it's going to be. We're going to send the dynamic data. For example, I'm, I'm going to send the current sales jobs 
uh, unique ID here. Yep. So by sending unique ID, I'll be able to send it to this description page and I'll be able to receive it in that page as well. So example, so right now my job is done here just as well. I mean, as long as I would able to send the, the unique ID of this page, I mean, of this data, then it's done. So next job, next part is actually we need to receive it in job descriptions page. So let's go ahead and let's just simple, put a simple text here. And let's say it's going to be, uh, this is going to be the jobs title. For example, uh, uh, yeah, of course, I would like to, it comes from the jobs database to so do a search for, uh, it does comes from the jobs and search for jobs first item and of course this, this job actually uh, should comes from uh, you need to add a constraint right so which is a constraint is unique ID and of course we're gonna have you're gonna get the unique ID from the current page date current uh, page URL so which it has the parameter name as Q1 okay then we close it then then we close this as well and as you can see the first item first items uh, title yep that's what i'm going to do so this is title this is job title next up is going to we're going to, we're going to add a, let's say salary okay that's the two things that we would like to send and by the way this is you are actually receiving from the URL so URL is actually plays a huge major role in this particular uh, project here. Okay, think that's all. Let's go ahead and just start testing it from this main page. Okay, since we have two two different uh, jobs that we have just created, you can just go for the first one just to test the one. So when you click on apply, and it goes to the second page, and as you can see, it says software developer. And yes, as you can see here in the URL, we have set, we have passed a parameter called Q1 with the unique ID of that particular job here. So whatever, whatever regarding this particular job can be uh, displayed in this particular page here. So that's the first one. That's the first job. Let's go for the second job, which is designer job. So click on apply. And as you can see here, yeah, the same thing, designer and its salary here. Okay, thank you guys for watching this entire video. That's all for me and hope you guys will learn something from this particular uh, topic which is to send uh, data from a repeating group and to another new page and has to be a dynamic data through URL here. Okay, thank you guys for watching this entire video again and catch you guys in the next episode and yeah, see you. See you soon.